Today, I am here to talk to you about a new feature that has come to SQL Managed Instance in the Data Virtualization category. This feature is the ability to export data from your instance into Blob Storage, or Create External Table as Select, or CTES. This will allow you to offload years of sales data as one example, or perhaps you have decades of data in your collection and you do not need access to it all that often. We can send it over to Blom Storage and then access it as if it were still part of the database to lower our total storage amount for SQL Managed Instance. By offloading it to cheaper disk in Blom Storage, this is a fantastic use case for many scenarios to, to still provide real-time access and drive a lower total cost of ownership. Join me today in looking at the setup and a quick demo of this new feature. Let's begin with the PowerShell you see on my screen. We only have to fill in two variables up at the top, your subscription ID and your managed instance name for this to work. We consider this feature a data exfiltration feature since we are effectively removing data from the database and storing it somewhere else. Therefore, we are requiring you to enable the feature from outside of SQL for a separation of duties. All you'll have to do, as I mentioned, is put in your name and subscription ID at the top, use your favorite way to run PowerShell, run this code, and it will enable the feature. In addition to the API call as shown, you may also use PowerShell or the CLI. Please check the documentation for these examples. So let's go look and we will see if it is enabled. Allow polybase export, value in use one, we are good to go. Next, we will use the AdventureWorks Data Warehouse 2019 database. We will, we will create a master key encryption in the database with your super secret password here. Next, we need a way to access the blob storage. You can use managed identity or you can use a SAS token. If you use a SAS token, please remember to remove the preceding question mark. We would normally suggest you to use a managed identity in production scenarios. <clears throat> as I am just using this as a demo in my non-prod environment, I am using a SAS token for simplicity. So let's go ahead and create that. All right, next. We have to tell managed instance the container and storage account. As you can see, SQL BU is my container and my storage account is MIGP storage. So we will create the external data source. So we tell SQL MI where that is using the credential we created above. Next, there are two formats for exporting data, Parquet and CSV. I'm using Parquet. You can use either one. Doesn't matter. All right, next. We create a external table, so this will point to the location. This will be the name for the table we want to export that will sit on blob storage. So I'm just using the fact product inventory table, which has give or take 750,000 records. So as you can see the syntax here with the location in my container, with the source and the format, we'll go ahead and run this. It'll take a couple seconds. And we have exported 776,000 rows. All right, so let's see the results. We will run this last bit, and then we'll take a couple seconds to render all the data. Three, four, five, six. There we go. Uh, all 776,000 rows have come back. Let's quickly take a look at our execution plan and zoom in on that. As you can see, the remote scan operator is there, verifying that we have actually gone out to blob storage. And there you have it. So in this demo, we have done the setup and shown end to end how to use this feature. You can start to see some of the scenarios that will come into play here with exporting years of data, still being able to access it. Business users then can send this data, say, to your reporting, your Power BI, your ETL scenarios, your data scientists. You unlock all of these sorts of possibilities. That'll do it for this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.